Hello, this is Matt Moser, a partner with Alchemy Solutions. And today what I'd like to do is continue where we left off um, on our intro to Cobol.net project and cover in the properties, which basically enable you to set multiple things, including the uh, device or the type of program, the DLL or executable, as well as copybook paths, reference paths, and so forth. And as our project loads up here, we'll go ahead and click on this so you can see how to get to the properties page that was just shown to you a second ago. As we move along here, we take a look and in order to get to the properties page, we can click on the properties tab, or get to the properties tab by right clicking on intro to cobol.net. And you'll notice properties shows up down the bottom. Click on properties and lo and behold, here they are and as we look through I'll try to cover each tab keep in mind this tutorial is at a high level and um, not really meant to go into each item into heavy detail but if you need more information you can always access the uh, the help um, or contact us and as we look through we have the application tab which says what's this assembly going to be named when it actually compiles and what's its default name space uh, because you can actually get one program, two programs, three programs built together as one entire assembly. Um, what framework are we going to go out as? The output type, and as we look at these, we can have an output type of a Windows application. Yes, you can um, put true controls into a uh, Windows application underneath COBOL, a console application with your standard accept display upon console, and a class library and you might be wondering where's my DLL well a class library does generate out to a DLL so that's the terminology that you, um, you will want to reference and then we have what's our startup project here and in this particular case um, it's going to be the main program of which you could set uh, multiple ones so as we kind of roll along here um, if you had multiple programs within there. And we go to our build and within our build you can see that you have a configuration option. This is how is it going to build when it generates compile time. You can generate for release, debug, all configurations. You have what platform do you want to go to. Um, it, as far as additional options go, you can put your compiler options right into here. Compiler options can be found through the help and we can also go to our platform target. In this case, it's set at any CPU, and where do you want the output to go? And do you want to generate debug info? And that's associated with this particular thing. Here you have the build events tab, and this is you know generally used for like a precompiler or something like that. And you have your pre-build event command line before each build, and your post-build event command line. Our debug tab. Um, this particular case is set for start project. Um, if you had a uh, executable or something like that, and this happened to be a DLL, you could set your external program or start your browser with the URL in order to get it to go. And you can also add command line arguments. Moving on a little bit, um, we have the resources file, which we don't have here, and that'll be covered in, next, in a later tutorial. Our settings, again, we'll cover that in more depth in a later tutorial. You have your reference paths. The reference paths page is used to specify the paths of the folders that contain the assembly references used by this given project. If you need more information, look up resolving assembly references in the help. And then moving on to copybook paths, um, this is where you can set your copybook. And we will do a uh, more in depth tutorial on copybooks and animation um, very shortly. Uh, and anyway, to try to find your folder, you would wind up clicking this particular button and then selecting your uh, your copy path that you'd be interested in. In this case, I keep my copy books inside copy books. And then you could simply add it um, to your project for either user or project. So in this case, if I did it here, it automatically adds it. If I had more than one, I can incrementally move them up or down. In this particular case, I'm going to take it out of the project and leave it with this user. Um, we have signing. Um, whether or not you want to use manifest, again, outside of the scope of this high-level tutorial. Um, security, um, partial trust, full trust. 
that is up underneath Microsoft security and could be a whole entire day on uh, how to cover that. And then you have the publish and that is how you wish to publish this out. And so you can, the two main areas you'll probably work on is copybook paths. You'll notice the asterisk means you made a change. Um, how you wish to build uh, your particular application or this particular um, program or set of programs and then this box here. So application, um, copybook paths, as well as possibly debug or build would be your most often used. Um, again, thank you for listening to these tutorials. Questions, comments are all welcome. Um, I can be reached at mmoser at alchemysolutions.com as I am a partner or, or Matt Moser at matt underscore moser at mosersoft.com. And uh, take care, and I'll talk to you in a future tutorial.